Okay, so today I want to talk about transitions. Transitions are a super cool way to add effects into your videos that make them look cooler, but that's at least in the moment when that transition is considered trendy. When you look back at a video with these trendy transitions, like one to two years later, you realize just how bad they look in a way, and even though they're popular in the moment, maybe they're not the greatest to use in the long term. So I've started to realize that more, I've started to use less transitions, and just really started to just edit my videos without transitions or with the classic just cross dissolve, you know, the basic transitions that stand the test of time. But a while back, I found a free transition pack for Final Cut Pro that I think is very simple, not so flashy, and it really does a good job transitioning between clips. So check this out. Okay, so these transitions are called the quick blur transitions and they're from a guy named Ryan Nangle. If you haven't heard of him before and you use Final Cut Pro, you should definitely check him out because he has a ton of really cool transitions, but I just specifically like these, at least at this current moment. So once you're at this video, I'll leave it linked below and also the download link. You can see that there's a free download and also the full pack. So if you like the free version, you know, you can support him with the full pack. But let's just click on the free version and now all you're gonna do is click download for free. You're gonna enter some little information like your email, and where you live basically just click you agree to the terms continue and it's going to send you an email with the download link so now just go to the email click view your order and it will bring up your order you're able to click download right here just download that pack and it's going to be super simple from here now once you have this file downloaded and you unzip the zip file you'll see a folder called quick blur transitions free and you'll see the three effects the punch in right and up effects which is what we want so what we're going to do right here is just click on this we're going to go and click copy we just copy that folder there and then we're gonna go to our movies folder and find our motion templates. If you don't have it set up, there's a ton of tutorials online on how to do this, but basically just find the motion templates, click on the transitions folder and just paste that folder, the quick blur transitions in here. As you can see, I already have it right here with the transitions inside of it. So once you've restarted Final Cut Pro, just go over to your effects, which are right over here, click on them, and then you can scroll down until you find the quick blur transitions free. So this is the folder you just imported. And now you can see those three transitions with little previews of kind of what they do. So let me just start with this clip right here. I have two separate clips connected and I wanna use this punch in transition. So like I said, super simple, just drag it on top right in between the two clips. And instantly you can see that effect just punch in. Now, unlike some transitions, there aren't a ton of fancy controls for it, but there are a few as you can see. So first up, you have the RGB blur, which basically changes the amount of RGB blur you have in that effect, pretty straightforward. I like putting it up a little bit like to 20. And then the blur amount, you can obviously bring down all the way to zero. I like keeping it somewhere around like 25 or something. So it's a little bit blurry, but not too blurry. And it has a little bit of that color. So as you can see now, it's a bit more of a subtle effect. It still zooms in like that really nice and smooth but it's not quite as drastic. And you can of course dial that in to how you like it. Now let's look at another example here with the right transition. So we're just gonna drag it on between these two clips right here. As you can see instantly, it just has this nice transition from right to left. It's a little bit confusing as it says right, but it goes the opposite direction, just like the up one technically goes down. It's a little bit confusing, but that's the direction of the first clip's movement. But as you can see, it has a nice blur transition to the left pretty simple but again like I said I like to bring up that RGB blur just a little bit bring down the blur amount so it's not quite as dramatic and now you have just a pretty subtle nice transition and of course you can always drag the tails of this transition out so you can make it really slow if you want something like that or you can make it really quick where it's barely noticeable just a quick little whip across so pretty useful in different situations and like I said it's still very subtle of an effect compared to many transitions and then let me just quickly show you the last one which is the up one so as you can see it just kind of pops up like that pretty subtle like I said but it has a bit too much blur so I just blur that down bring the RGB up a little bit and you have a nice subtle effect transition so I know this was a super short, simple video, but I just like these transitions as opposed to the, you know, more classic Luma fades, which are much more dramatic, much more obvious of a transition that look pretty outdated to me at this point. So I just really like how simple and not flashy those quick blur transitions are, how many situations you can apply them to, and how good they look and how good they'll look for a long time in your videos, unlike some of these other ones. I just recently used these transitions in a documentary I made, so if you wanna check those out in action, click the link up there, but 
that's basically it for today. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Click the link down below to download these transitions, and I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Baby.